Good morning to everybody, how are you? Well, I hope you are fine. Well, let me show you this case that it arrived to my office uh, like a year and a half uh, before. And I want to show you how I planned this case of a woman who came with a really severe malocclusion. And we saw this case, uh, what, just using uh, aligners of Invisalign. And, and well, we got a, a really nice result. This is the the real situation when she arrived to my to my clinic. Well, you can see here many many things in the in the face. Look at the tension of the lips that you have in the first picture that she did to she she had to do to close the mouth. Also the asymmetric smile. The occlusal plane was a little bit canted. The midline was deviated. The you can see here the severe crowding that she presented. And I remember. Uh, when I met this one that she told me that doctor, well, uh, I'm dreaming for a beautiful smile and this is one of my, the dreams of my life. And well, what stopped me from the beginning to do the treatment always has been because uh, in other places they, they told me that it's necessary to do extractions or it's impossible to do my case with, with aligners. And, and because that, uh, she she didn't do the the case and the um, and the treatment before, but she came to our office, and we studied the case and we offer a good solution for for her, uh, without doing extractions and doing all the treatment with with aligners. Okay, I studied with my with my study. Well, well, I did uh, the DSD planification, and then I analyzed the R. What you can see here, what well, the open bite, the recessions that she's developing the mouth, the the, the occlusal plane is canted, the midline devi is deviated, the upper one is also canted to the to the right. You can see here the severe crowding that she presented with an open bite, with an anterior cross bite. Also the lower incisors are so, and the upper both are really, really proclined, creating periodontal recession. You can see the, the recession that, that she presented at the beginning in the upper left canon and also in the lower incisors. And the real situation, if we see the the first uh, picture of the of the iter scan that we take at the beginning look at how she presented a class 2 malocclusion on the right side and uh, and the midline was really deviated and the huge protrusion of the incisors and uh, well it was a, a severe situation okay also the uh, the shapes of the arts at the beginning she presented a narrow arch asymmetric with crowding in the lower arts uh, this is the the situation you when I both arch with a little bit the mouth a little bit open where you can see well the discrepancy that we have also in the height in the position in the vertical position of the inside okay so analyzing all the records well as usual we take the the panoramic also the, the cephalometric that show us the huge proclination that we have and now we have to think that we need the space to move back this to the uh, inside the mouth to give a good angulation because if we analyze the cephalometry you can see that we have an, an, an angulation of the upper incisor of uh, you in the, the look at the value of u1 sn is 151 151 is we have like an uh, is this angle is increased more than 45 is 47 degrees increase so it's so, 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 so high angle. And now we have to think, what do we have to do to solve the class to, to get the space to align the teeth, to get the space to reduce the procreation. And also we have to do all the thing without any extraction, okay? Do you want to see the final results? Well, these are the final So look at the beautiful class one occlusion that we got at the beginning, where also we reduce the angulation and the proclination of the upper and lower incisors, so giving a good engagement, giving a good uh, upper uh, uh, overbite and overjet, and also look at the beautiful arc shape that I designed in this case without doing extractions, just working in the transversal plane mainly. Okay, the profile is beautiful. Look how now the teeth are really, really in balance with the leaf. They are with a good angle. Mm, where I have reduced a lot the proclination that she presented at the beginning. Beautiful, full mouth smile, balanced with the teeth. And of course, of course it's easy. Of course everybody with a good planification can do that, okay? 
but we have to invest a lot of time. I always say in my courses, in the lecture that I do, in the in Master Koi that I run with Ivan Malagon, uh, I always say that the plan and the time you invest in the computer, in the chair thinking is the best investment that you can do to solve any of your cases, okay? Of course, anyone can do it. Those ones who are willing to pay the price to invest time on thinking and planning the case, okay? So this is the situation with the, uh, the final situation that they plan with the clean checks where you can see here active and passive attachments. Some of them are for extrusion, some of them are for anchorage. Uh, the class two last that I plan in this case that I didn't start using from the beginning. Uh, the patient started using a uh, class two elastics maybe in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, when I was in the month six or seven of the treatment where I have when I have developed something the the upper arch in the transversal plane. Okay, and you can see here the the line of the of the treatment where we start with the itero scan. After eight weeks, we start with the treatment. In INR3, we put the attachments. In I did the IPR and INR7. I start with the ex anterior extrusion in INR26, not at the beginning, because the first thing that I have to do is to develop the arch. So I start with the extrusion in INR26. Then we did the refinement in INR37. And then I did a short refinement of, of 10 aligners. Uh, and after 10 aligners, you will, the case will, will done, and then we put the, the retention, okay? And this is the, the final, you can see here, okay, the, the movement of the, of the clean check, okay? Let me show you a little bit how it moves at the beginning, where you can see here the class one in one side, the class two in the other side, okay and how i work mainly the 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 mainly the, the the most important thing is here look at here the way i expand and the rotate molars the way i procline the upper centrals to move the lateral to the arch okay first even with the proclination that they have in the upper incision i have to move them outside to do a space for the lateral incision and then i will move back again okay this is what I'm doing, rotation, I'm rotating the cannons at the same time, okay? And as you can see here, the, the superimposition upper and, and the before and after situation, okay, where mainly what I did is working. And in the lower arch, I did some IPR, okay? You can see here, I did some round tripping. Then I did the IPR in Aligner 7. And if you see at the end the superimposition the between the before and after that you will see later, you will see that we didn't procline the lower incisors because I used the space of the expansion on the IPR to look at here. We didn't procline anything. Even I retrocline a little bit. I did point point three millimeters of IPR from distal three to distal three to get this this situation. And you can see here how. I start extruding a liner 26. I start look at here, no extrusion, and then I start with the extrusion. Okay. This is the final situation. Look how I reduce a lot the proclination of the of upper and lower inside source, the final x-ray situation. And what happened here? Look at, at the beginning with the narrow arch crowding, the B protrusion of upper and lower inside source. Everything was inclined outside uh, how we change to this beautiful situation i love it the shape of the arch was changed also working with the with the shape with the torch with the ipr to get that situation look at the change huge change in the smile the you can see here the the situation at the beginning and now at the end okay here on the on the left, you can see the final balance of the teeth with the lips. I love it. I love it. I love it because it's impressive. The huge value that we can give to people's life when we do this thing. Okay, look at the before and after. For me, I think it's amazing that we can do these things only using aligners with a good planification, with a good treatment plan, and with 
time is investing for, for our patient that they deserve the best. Okay, so thank you very much to follow my work. Thank you very much for your comments. And thank you very much to all the people who is coming to Master Coib that, well, is uh, the course that I run with my partner, Dr. Ivan Maragon. And well, we are doing that for right now more than seven years, where we have trained more than 500 doctors for all over the world. And with our philosophy of treatment, with our passion, with our emphasis, with our, what we have inside in our heart that we share with everybody to get these results. Okay, so thank you very much to be there and hope to see you really soon. Bye bye.